What's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel and to the second episode of the classic cocktail, Three Ways. Today on the menu, the Manhattan. We're gonna make it the simplest way possible without compromising the quality. Then we're gonna make an improved version and we also gotta clarify it. This will also answer a question. Are all cocktails worth clarifying? So if you guys are ready, let's make some Manhattans. All right, so for the lazy Manhattan, as I said, we're gonna try to make it as good as possible without complicating things. And to do that, we need good ingredients. So I chose Sazerac rye, Chazaletes sweet vermouth. I'm very sorry for the pronunciation. Also the classic Angostra bitters and delicious Amarena cocktail cherries. Now, this cocktail is built right into a rocks glass and we're gonna start with two to four dashes of Angostura bitters. I usually use a jigger for my cocktails, but here it's two parts rye for one part sweet vermouth, so you can use whatever you want. So we're gonna go with one part rye, two parts rye, and a little extra if you want, with one part of sweet vermouth. Now, all we have to do is to fill our glass with ice and with a pick with three cocktail cherries, we're gonna stir until the cocktail is cooled down. And this is it, as simple as that, a delicious Manhattan. Cheers, guys. All right now, so for the pro Manhattan, what's gonna change? Quite a lot, actually. We're gonna start by using bourbon instead of rye. Then we're gonna need vanilla infused cognac. That recipe is in the description down below. We also gonna need Coqui di Torino sweet vermouth, the classic Angostura bitters, and the delicious Amarana cherries. So in a mixing glass, we're gonna start by pouring 1.5 ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of our vanilla infused cognac, and because that base is a little sweeter, we're gonna use only three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. Then we're gonna add four dashes of Angostura bitters. We can fill our mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. All right, so it is cold, diluted, and perfect. We can now strain it into a cocktail coupe, and this is when the fun begins. We're gonna smoke the cocktail with cherry wood using my Middleton Mixology smoke top. I've already talked about this device previously on the channel, and I love it. So if you guys wanna smoke your cocktails at home, I highly recommend it, and I'm gonna link it in the description down below. So now all we have to do is garnish this with delicious cherries, and this is it, guys. This is how I make my pro Manhattan. Manhattan. And now for the clarified one, we're gonna make a mix and match of both recipes and we're gonna add some milk to milk wash the cocktail in order to clarify it. Also, I'm using rye instead of bourbon here because I want that extra spiciness and no citrus is required, which is usually the case for a milk wash cocktail because apparently the acidity of the sweet mood here is plenty enough. Now for the tools, we're gonna need a funnel, a coffee filter, and two glass vessels. We're gonna start with one in which we're gonna add two ounces or 60 ml of rye. Then we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce or 45 ml of Coqui di Torino sweet vermouth and three dashes of Angostura bitters. Now you understand guys why I always use a dasher bottle because this Angostura bottle always make a mess and it drives me nuts. Now in another vessel, we're gonna pour three quarters of an ounce of whole milk and then over the milk, you're gonna pour the cocktail. It is very important to do that in this order to get the best result. And now for the filtration, you're gonna take your funnel in which you're gonna place your coffee filter and for a better result, we're gonna rinse it with water. It's always a good idea to do that to get rid of the paper taste. Sometimes I forget to mention it in my videos and I get called out, but not today. Now, you probably see it already, the curdles have started to form in the mixing glass. We don't see it so well in this one, I'm gonna switch glass. I was very impressed how fast it happened with no citruses. Now you're simply gonna pour that over the coffee filter and let it run for about a minute in order for the curdles to settle at the bottom of the filter. Then we're gonna switch vessels. The first drops will always be cloudy, so we're gonna take them and re-pour them over the unfiltered mixture. And this guy is the best way to get the perfectly clear liquid every single time. So now all we have to do is wait until the whole cocktail is clarified and filtered. And while we do so, we're gonna take ice press and make a beautiful clear ice sphere because yes, beautiful, clear cocktail needs beautiful clear ice. So while we wait for the ice to happen, we're gonna pour our cocktail into a mixing glass and we're gonna stir it over ice for about half of the time that we usually do. This cocktail is already very smooth because of the clarification. It doesn't need too much dilution. So now that we're done with the ice and the stir, we can take the beautiful ice sphere and place it into the glass. I think I just broke it. 
it is the second video of that series guys and it's the second time that something happens with the glassware it's bad luck i hope it's not gonna happen like a third like third times the charm i hope not so i'm gonna switch glass we're gonna place gently this time the ice into a rocks glass and we're gonna pour the cocktail over it now for the garnish i liken this one to add a little bit of orange oil so we're gonna take orange peel we're gonna express it gently over the cocktail and we're gonna discard it and garnish with simply one cherry on a pig and this is it guys this is how we make a clarified manhattan cheers so to the question are all cocktails worth clarifying i'd say for this one it depends the manhattan is a cocktail that's very bold rich spirit forward and when you love them that's what you're looking for in that drink but here because of the clarification it is so smooth it's almost not the same cocktail anymore but there's one thing very cool about this cocktail the mouthfeel because of the milk washing it is very rich in texture and that i enjoy a lot it's actually probably the best side of this cocktail so i would say if you are not into spirit forward cocktails and trying to get into those the clear manhattan is a great option also if you simply want to experiment with milk washing technique it is very cool to see how big of a difference it makes from the regular to the clear one but if your thing is the classic stiff spirit for manhattan stick to the lazy or pro version this one will probably let you down so that's it for me today guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon Cheers.